Cheers, folks. It's Monday, the 19th of September. Coming at you in the morning saying hello. I have my speaking engagement today at 3 o'clock at UNO. They will post it when it's done. Am I nervous? Uh, no. Am I looking forward to it? Yeah. Uh, do I know what all I'm going to talk about? Um, vaguely. That's what's kind of cool about this is because the core it's the, for the music technology course and um, so I can just riff on 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 what I on my what I do but anyway when I get there ahead of time and meet the professor and stuff we'll see what you know if he has any particular um, things that he would like to accomplish from the talk because I can align myself to that or I can just riff like I do here. When I worked for years in mental health as a, um, a rehabilitation specialist, I got to a point where I was started to write curriculums for the programs, not just the ones that I taught, but several because it turned out that I had, a, you know, I was good at it. So, um, the, so I was, I have a lot of experience of just going in and doing classes, just going in and just riffing it, riffing it, just doing it. So I look forward to this. Nice hearing from you all yesterday. The person who shared with me that they got to see Roxy Music when Eno was still in the band, that's historic. That's pretty damned cool. On a personal note, um, but it's musical, but it's kind of sad, and I want to just um, document it here. I've mentioned to you that among the other band, the bands I'm in, I'm in this band called RAF, stands for Really Are Fucked. And it grew out of the um, hardcore punk rock scene of the 80s. Um, the Midwest was very influenced by West Coast well, both the coast, but particularly uh, germs and adolescents and stuff like that. So, RAF is still going. We've been going since the 80s. I wasn't the first bass player, though. I'm the best known, but I want to mention this band, Apathy, out the window, another local band from uh, Omaha, who were contemporaries of ours at the time. And uh, I'm sad to say that the blonde in the picture, that's Mike Homan. And the, the guy sitting next to him with the hair flopping down over his eyes, that's Jim Homan. That's Mike's brother. Mike passed away last weekend. Really unfortunate news. I mean, Mike was only in his 50s. It's sad because in 2019, his son, one of his sons, was skateboarding and had a skateboarding accident and hit his head and died. And I can surmise, and most people who are talking about it online surmise that Mike never recovered from losing his son. There's no details about how Mike passed away, but I wouldn't doubt that that's somehow connected to it. So just documenting that that, that happened and that Jim was also originally in RAF even before I was. He was still second guitar player when I joined the band. I don't think that his brother Mike ever played bass for RAF, although Mike played bass. He might have for a short time um, before I joined the band. Very sad. Young, young men, 50, you know. It's weird to um, hear about folks that I know younger than me passing away, just so I wanted to just catch that. Didn't do too much playing of music yesterday except work. I worked yesterday on music. But I listened to the rest of the Mary Halverson. This is really good. I highly recommend this. Along with Black Midi and More Mother, this will definitely be in my list for albums of the year. Amaryllis Belladonna. This is fantastic. More Mothers still gets my vote as the 
album of the year. Black Midi is a is a close second. Only other thing I played um, on the turntable yesterday. Did I play any CDs? No. I stayed busy yesterday and then relaxed. Sin Kane. Color Voice. This is something I bought used because it was a picture disc and I didn't know anything about it. And it was not, it was cheap. And this artist, um, is, it appears that he's multi-ethnic and uses um, elements of Sudanese music along with what we call kraut rock. I don't like that term, but you know what I mean when I say it. But the motoric, repetitive, droney sound that we associate with cluster and noi and uh, the like. He, uh, there's a bit of that involved here. This is o just okay. It's not really good. It's just okay. I see that this is the first record he made. He's probably gotten better since, but I hang on to it. I'll do a poll and see what happens, okay? I don't know what I have. <laughs> well, yes I do. Nectar, Journey to the Center of the Eye. Isn't that funny? Someone in, in a rec uh, recently made a comment all about the Kron. How the Kron was remixed for um, the U.S. And similarly, another album, not this one, but a, an album by Nectar was the same. I have the American version. I don't know if I've ever heard the uh, European version. Tab in the Ocean, very good band. They're still going. Roy Albrighton's passed away, unfortunately, but um, they're still going. And this is a, I think it's a great mix of straight rock and progressive rock elements. Good band. Journey to the Center of the Eye. Not that. I'm hearing it in my head right now. Probably have to pop it on when I get done here. So, um, regarding the neighborhood, it's inter been interesting to hear the different um, comments. Everything is fine here, as far as me and my neighbors in general, and the way that the uh, flavor of my neighborhood is changing. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. It does seem that at the drop of a hat, folks get really noisy. Uh, in public, um, and that just, it's kind of different. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it to my neighbors. That just doesn't seem cool. What do we got? I don't know what I got. What did I pull? Mother Tongue. Okay. This is on the touch, the touch label which whenever I find stuff on the label and I can afford it, I get it because it's interesting. This here appears to be involving people from um, the Hapler Trio along with Zev, the percussionist who worked with industrial waste, large containers and stuff and he just banged that stuff around. I haven't played this in a long time but I know that I like this, and it's a sound work as opposed to sound song, as opposed to songs. I remember this as being sound based. Well, I have a couple of things to listen to this morning as I um, shell out and, and prepare to go uh, speak at uh, university. Here is there's a couple polls for you. I'm going to refrain from um, com commenting on current events right now because I'm watching to see the next phase of what's about to happen. So I just leave it at that. Y'all have a good day or evening when you see whenever you see this.